my fucking mind, my voice, my morals, everything. I'm just gonna lose it all. Hello lovelies, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. I want to start off by saying that my voice sounds scratchy, I sound awful, I sound gross, I have a runny nose and all of that. I'm just sick in general and I'm ready for it to be gone. I was sick a couple weeks ago and I'm sick again. <sighs> it's just an absolute nightmare when the month of December hits for me. I always constantly get sick and I will get sick up until probably about the month of January, February. <sighs> With that being said, I am clean, I am showered, I washed my face, I have not moisturized and that is because today I got my, my boxy charm. I have not opened this, I haven't done anything to it, like the seal is still on there, it's still cut, like I can't open it. So I haven't peeked at all, I wanted to do that with you guys, I wanted to be just as surprised as to what I got in here. For those of you who do not know, BoxyCharm, it is a monthly subscription box that is $25 every month. It used to be $21, but now it is $25. They had made some changes and everything and then there's BoxyLux premium and I don't know all the rest so there are two other boxes one I believe is like $35 and the other one is the regular 50 I just get this one I don't need to have the other ones because this is probably about all I need for the month this is my my prescription every month so when you open it up it always says BoxyCharm and then up here it says, you know, the at BoxyCharm or hashtag BoxyCharm. You always get this little pamphlet in here. So it's got this nice gold leaf plating around here. And it does tell you the theme, which is whimsy. I totally thought it said whiskey for a minute. But it, the theme is whimsy. And then on the back it tells you about all the products and how much everything is worth. Now, we will go over how much the whole box is worth at the end. But I don't want to look at this because I don't want to know what's in my box. I want to see it for myself. The first product I have here is the Aesthetica Pro Series Brush Cleanser and Conditioner. That is the first time that I've ever seen anything like this in here. I've never gotten a brush cleaner at all. This is very nice to see in our boxy charm because my brushes are in need of some deep cleaning right now. <laughs> uh, I probably should get around to that but I haven't just because I have to constantly keep filming and I do need to buy more makeup brushes. I will definitely try this out. I will not be trying this out this video because I will need my brushes but more than likely next video I will use this to test it out and to clean all of my brushes. So I will definitely put this to the test to see how well this works on our brushes. The next thing in here is the Ciate London Marbled Light Illuminating Blusher. It's got this almost like marbled paint splatter effect on there. Well that's cute. It's got a bow and some stars on the front and it's very reflective. Ooh. Look at that. That is what she looks like on the inside. How pretty is that? And the shade is called Dusk. And I'm just going to go ahead and swatch her. Oh, it's a... I don't know. It's a very bright pink. So that is what she looks like. I mean, it's pretty. I'll definitely use it. The next thing I'm pulling out is the Brow Bar True Brow Brow Makeover Kit. I really wish BoxyCharm would stop sending me brow and eyeliner products. I don't use them. I don't do anything with my brows and I it's very rare that I put on eyeliner. So I, and I happen to I tend to get eyebrow products every single box. Last month's box was the only box I did not receive an eyeliner and I did not receive a brow product and I loved it. I loved everything in the box. Now this is like a waste to me and this on the BoxyCharms like list that you rate everything or whatever it is, this is last on there so why would they keep putting it in my box if I rate this as last? Like. I'm so tired of seeing brow products and eyeliner products. I cannot stress that enough. Like, 
I'm tired of it. I wish they would be more to people's preferences. Like, that's the only thing that they did not do is, yes, they upgraded all of their boxes, but they haven't even, like, they haven't even put into any consideration of people's actual preferences. Like, eyeliner and brow products and lip gloss are, like, the last on my list. And I get those every single box. I wish they would cater more to your preferences. That's the only downfall about BoxyCharm is everybody typically gets the same thing. I'm tired of everybody getting the same thing. I can't stand the fact that I keep getting brow products because I don't use them and then they just sit in my drawer and they go to waste. Ooh, I will open it up to show you what it looks like. So you have a light brown, a medium brown, and then you have like a black brown in there. So you open it up and And these look to be in a cream. I'm not going to swatch them. I'm not going to do anything with them. Or, wait, wait a second. No, this tan color here is a cream, but these are powders over here. And then it just says brow bar on this. So this doesn't say if it's a brow gel or anything, but I'm pretty sure it is a brow gel. But I'm going to put this back. I mean, I can't. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm tired of seeing brow products in my BoxyCharm because I don't use them. Stop sending them to me. So I will probably either give this to my sister or who knows, I might actually just put this in a future giveaway. I also have the iconic London one. I don't use, I don't touch, I don't swatch, I don't do anything with it. I have that. I have a, another like brow pen that I've gotten and I have more in my drawer and I just don't use them. Like... So if somebody's in need of some eyebrows, I got you, girl. I got you. Okay, the next item I have is the Anti-Aging Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. That was almost a mouthful for me. I love rose facial oils. They just, something about it, just, my skin loves it. So I'm really excited to try this. And it says, soothing facial oil for fine lines and wrinkles, Pan Padina Pav... Pavonica, English Rose, Roaring Water Kelp, soothes, nourishes, and smooths. It says, this soothing facial oil formulated with organic English Rose ole Oleo, Oleo extract, rosehip seed oil, roy Roaring Water Kelp, and Padina Pavonica intensely nourishes the skin whilst, whilst, Smoothing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for all skin types including sensitive skin And it just says to massage three to four drops over face and neck if contact with eyes and eyes. Okay, whatever Ooh, okay So I what I really want to do is Smell this I can actually smell it through the box actually Ooh, look how pretty that is so this is what the bottle looks like and I don't even need to open this like I can smell it it is very very strong but I am I love this I love this detailing how it's like the pink and then it just goes to clear I like that and it is your regular dropper so ooh for the last item it is the storybook cosmetics and it is fairy tales it says once upon a time, there were three sisters who never stopped believing in fairy tales, and they all lived happily ever after. Now, I do know that they have a storybook one that is like wizards and witches or whatever. It's supposed to be like a Harry Potter, like, dupe, almost. Like, I would love to see a Harry Potter palette come out. Like, Harry Potter is my thing. I love Harry Potter. I have it tattooed on my face and the side of my head. I am a huge fan of Harry Potter, so I want that palette, but then I'm like, ah, uh, like it's kind of iffy. So anyways, let's go ahead and open her up and, oh, those are some nice shades in there. So you do have a mirror on this side and these shades, look at that. Those are pretty shades and these are actually shades that I'm really, really into right now. So that is awesome. I really like this. 
And I'm glad that the packaging actually extends out like this. Like, so it's not just like this. But it extends out like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so that was everything in my BoxyCharm. Now, I want to go ahead and total everything up. And see how much everything comes out to. I didn't really hear anything this month about this BoxyCharm. Like, it wasn't a big hype. And, like, I'm kind of like, eh, like... It's an okay box. Like, I'm really glad that I got the facial oil and I do like the palette. The brush cleaner is nice to have and the blush is pretty. I wish it was like a little bit more of a coral instead of like a light baby pink, but it will still get used. Now, the only thing, I don't care for the brow stuff at all. I'm so glad I didn't get a brow product and an eyeliner because that happens almost every month and I hate it. Okay, so for the storybook, it was $35 for the LMS facial oil it was $79 oh my gosh that is a lot for a facial oil oh my goodness the blusher was $26 the brow kit was $30 and the brush cleaner was $12 so it brings it to $182 value. I cannot believe that this is $79. Like, who has the money to go and spend $79 on something like this? This better work then. Now we're going to try on all of these products. This smells so good. I love the smell of rose. It doesn't taste very good though. So don't get it in your mouth. Blech. Wow. I'm so amazed at how soft my face is after that facial oil. Like, it is very, very smoothing. I really like that. And it does not leave, like, an oily residue. Like, I don't have an oily residue at all on my fingers or on my face, which I know some facial oils can leave that, but this doesn't. Like, Either that or my skin was that damn dry and it soaked it right up. So I did just go in with some foundation powder and bronzer. Now I have been trying out the Believe Beauty and it's like the Dollar General brand. And I am... Uh, I don't really know how I feel about this yet. I've worn this a couple of times. Like I'm still going to continue to wear it just to keep testing it out but... I don't know. It says medium to full coverage, and I just, I don't know. Like, I can still see a lot that it doesn't cover up at all. So, I'm, like, on the fence about this foundation right now. So, I'm going to give it a few more tries, see what I think about it, and go from there. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be a very, very bright pink, but... It's actually not that bad, and it looks like it might... I thought it looked like it might had a little bit of shimmer to it or something, but I don't really see that on the face. Like, it looks like it's a little shimmery in here, but not on. Now, it is for storybook time. Look at these shades. I like it so much. I definitely think I want to go in with this peachy color down here. I'm loving that. And I will just go ahead and swatch these for you. Ooh, they feel very, very creamy. These are what all of the shades look like. Now, these matte colors kind of swatched a little bit patchy and chunky, but hopefully they will perform a lot better on the eyes. I know swatches are kind of like hit or miss. Like, some swatches look really, really nice. Some swatches are like, oh... But then the blending of the eyeshadow looks phenomenal. So, I don't know. Swatches, like, you can never really tell how an eyeshadow actually performs until it's actually being blended out onto your lids. And I'm not going to do anything too fancy, too crazy, just because I do have to go to work here right after this. So, we are just doing something simple, but I'm wearing a gray shirt, so I definitely want to use this gray, but I also want to use this peach color, so I'm like... Eh, what do I do? The first shade I think I'm going to go in with is the shade Woods. I'm going to just keep it pretty simple. So 
We're just gonna start applying that all over the lid. I haven't really set my eyes. I've kind of been into that lately where I like partially set my eyes with a setting powder but still have like the tackiness of the concealer. I'm actually really enjoying that lately. I'm gonna go in the shade Basket up here and I wish, I kind of do wish that this was a little bit darker of a brown, but it looks pretty buildable. Everything seems to be blending just fine. So now I'm going to take the shade Bad Wolf and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. That is very pretty. Overall, when it comes to BoxyCharm, I love BoxyCharm. I really do. I just wish they would stop sending me brow products. I'm tired of seeing them. It's the same thing every box and it's just a little bit annoying. Um, this box, it wasn't a terrible box. I really like the facial oil and I really like the palette. It actually blends out very nicely and like the shimmer shade on there, I really like it. So I'll definitely be reaching for this again and I definitely want to reach for this red and this peach color. I didn't use the peach color, but I will just save it for next time. I am a starving like Marvin. I need some food in my stomach before I die. Just kidding. <laughs> it's like a little dramatic. But... I'm going to go get some food. I'm going to head off to work. So go ahead and click subscribe. Hit the like button down below. Throw me some comments. What did you guys get in your guys' boxy charms? I would love to hear it. Please feel free to tell me that you guys did not receive eyebrow products if you do not like them. I hope everybody has a wonderful, fantastic day. I am out of here. Peace out. Just kidding. Bye, guys.